Hello, good morning. It's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets on the 25th of July 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Apple uh, uh, App Store and the uh, Google's Android. Okay. In terms of market uh, moving events this morning, so basically we've got Asian markets overnight finishing relatively higher, although Shanghai finishing slightly uh, neutral. Uh, given the fact that the Chinese stimulus certainly is kicking in and uh, has certainly allowed markets to uh, uh, certainly uh, f not worry about the concerns regarding growth. It seems like fiscal stimulus certainly is going to cushion that. Mr. Trump's comments regarding his fiscal stimulus, i.e. a potential um, uh, potential stimulus for farmers to uh, account for the loss in trade. Obviously, he's thinking about his, uh, his votes. I think there's a, a potential uh, interim election coming up, I think. So, uh, again... He's saying he's looking for votes there and making sure he maintains that dominant position in the political sphere. Now, uh, in terms of the FTSE 100, certainly is falling quite sharply. FTSE fell like a rock this morning. German DAX is retreating. FTSE MIB IBEX as Mr. Trump and he and Mr. Juncker, Juncker meet with regards to EU trade tariffs and barriers and uh, vice versa from obviously America. It's the Americans certainly who are triggering this so-called potential trade war. So, uh, again, concerns regarding that. Euro currently oscillating around the 1.17 level, so keep an eye on that, especially with US dollar now potentially reaching a top there. Okay, now the FTSE 100 certainly has fallen quite sharply. I'm trying to work out as to what the real, uh, obviously, reason for that was at present. It's, it's certainly hard to do so, especially after yesterday's rally post, Mr. Broadbent. Okay, uh, now in terms of economic data this morning, German IFO numbers certainly beating expectations, so Germany certainly remaining strong. Okay, that's really the main uh, takeaway this morning. Okay, so let's look at the technical picture now, given the fact that we've got Mr. Trump's comments regarding the so-called stimulus for farmers. Uh, again, let's see if that certainly is uh, going to be uh, accepted. It certainly is interesting how this individual co uh, complains about free trade, free trade, free trade, and yet he's subsidizing his own farmers. So uh, it really is hypocritical at this current juncture, but that's the status quo. I can't see a potential deal being reached between him and Europe. And therefore, that should be seen as risk negative. But yet, the market certainly have rallied yesterday on the back of China's fiscal stimulus and Mr. Trump's comments as well. Okay, so German DAX. Let's just see exactly where we stand here. German DAX finding resistance back at that 12,760 zone again. So again, risk off well, as soon as we get there. 60-minute chart. You can see we've closed the gap and then obviously started to reverse. We've got gap filled below at 12,550. So watch out below. 10-minute chart at the moment. Potentially finding support here at 12,650. If that cracks, then you have support at 12,585 and then you've got gap fill at 12,550. So watch out for those two areas. In terms of the French CAC, let's see. Okay, daily chart first and foremost. Okay, so again, French CAC gap, uh, finding resistance at gap fill at 561. So again, finding uh, a wall of resistance there. We're into gap fill now as well on the French CAC. So therefore, looking to potentially reverse. Quite an impressive thrust there. So watch out below. Okay, now 10 minute chart at the moment, just oscillating trading sideways, really. Uh, okay, we just connect the tops across here. You can see, certainly see some type of wedge pattern forming here as well. So let's see which way we break out of this wedge. Now, you do have support below on the French CAC down here, 5420, then eventually gap fill below. So watch out if we continue to slide. FTSE 100, very strange index. Uh, it actually broke out to new highs, fake out, and then reversed so sharply. Reversed 100 points in the opposite direction. So certainly is quite tough trying to trade his FTSE at the moment. It certainly is whipsawing at present. Okay, as you can see here, whipsaws and then and then reverses quite sharply. Now, you do have this uh, mini HNS formation. So let's see what the actual target was on this HNS. Okay, so you've got uh, the head there at 774. You've got the neckline around 7710. So technically, you, sh you should have gone down to 7680. Uh, obviously, the market certainly uh, reversed even more sharper than that. Okay. Uh, you've got potential uh, you've got previous resistance equal support now. So if you do come higher up to 7680, then you are looking at uh, potential resistance at 7680 zone. So watch out there in terms of the FTSE now. FTSE certainly has been trading erratically. That's probably the best way of describing it at the moment. Very erratic. Now, S&P obviously has been pushing higher. Uh, if you go back to the S&P chart. Again, this will give us guidance. I mean, we hit as high as 28.30, so very, very impressive. Uh, daily chart, 
close that gap around 28.22. We've put in a potential. Um, we've put in a potential uh, doji there as well. So 28.30 will be a pivot high now. 60 minute chart. There was a HNS formation. Obviously, that's been negated now as well. That's what. The, the, that's one of the uh, trades that I was looking to take as well. Stopped out yesterday. Uh, 28.07. You've got gap filled below. Uh, again, you're still making high highs and high lows, so you have to respect that for now. So. Quite a uh, crazy trading session yesterday, 28.30 down to 28.10 and obviously bouncing uh, again. So uh, let's see how that certainly plays out. So again, let's see how Mr. Trump's so-called subsidy for farmers plays out. Let's see how the European markets and uh, obviously Mr. Trump's so-called uh, trade agreement, potential trade agreement works out. OK, that certainly is something to consider as well uh, in terms of the economic calendar for the rest of the day. Uh, hmm. I mean, you've got jobless claims from the US. Uh, so, look, here. sorry, no, just home sales from the US. That's literally it for the rest of the day in the New York crude crude data as well. Although we did get a draw yesterday. So, again, a lot of factors to consider here uh, in terms of the, the remainder of the day. Again, new headlines from Juncker, Juncker and Trump certainly will be will dominate. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Take advantage of that bonus and download the latest trade singler app. Goodbye now.